Number 31. Verify the ranges for the projectiles in figure 3.40. A. For 45 uh, degrees and the given initial velocities. Okay, so here's A on the bottom left-hand side. Well, not bottom, but middle left-hand side. So basically what we need to do here is given the, um, given the red, right, initial velocity of, let me put it in red, given the red initial velocity of 30 meters per second, we want to make sure that its range is appropriate. So we're basically just checking that knowing the initial velocity of 30 meters per second, knowing the initial angle of the projectile, and making sure that we can calculate then the range from just those two givens. All right, so how do we do that? Well, let's take a look on the right-hand side. I'm going to box the formula that's necessary. This formula relates the range, the initial velocity, the angle at which the ball was released, and g. All right, so uh, that's the formula that we're going to need to do. So for letter A for the uh, red one, for the red projectile, let's just write the formula. So the range of x will be equal to the initial velocity squared uh, times the sine of 2 times my initial angle, right? all divided by g. So we can plug everything in if we want, and then all we're going to do is just make sure that they're equal. Okay, so let's see. So the uh, initial, so the range was 91.8. The initial velocity was 30, right? So that's squared times the sine of now 2 times 45, and then all over 9.80. So let's see if this works out. So 91.8, so let's take out the calculator. 30 squared times the sine of 2 times 45, which is 90, right? All divided by 9.8. And look at that, 91.8. So that works out. So that's great. Now let's do it for uh, the 40 meter per second. And its range now is 163 according to the uh, graph. So now for letter B, well, it's still A, but I'll just call it B now. All right, well, same formula. So the range of X is equal to the initial velocity squared times the sine of two times my initial angle, all over G. So the range now is 163 meters. The initial velocity now is 40 squared times the sine of two times 45, which is simply 90 divided by 9.80. Let's see now if these things are equal. So 163 should be equal to, so 40 squared times the sine of 90 divided by 9.8. Look at that, 163 again. I know there's a decimal, but remember we have to have two to three significant figures here. And technically, actually, we would have to have two sig figs, right? Well, they didn't include the decimal in the uh, velocity, so actually it should be one sig fig, but I think you guys get the idea here. This works. And then last but not least, let's do the 50 uh, meters per second. And then the range was 255. So the range of x is equal to the initial velocity squared times the sine of 2 theta all over g. So I got 255 now would be equal to 50 squared times the sine of 2 times 45 all over 9.80. And let's see if this is equal to one another. So 50 squared times the sine of 90, obviously the sine of 90 is one, and then divided by 9.8, we get a value of 255. So there it is, guys, it all works out. Beautiful formula, makes our life nice and easy. Otherwise to do this with uh, other means, it would require a lot of substitutions and uh, some difficult calculations, but all is easy. Thank you guys for tuning in, hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.